And speaking of breaking down fights, I'd love to get your thoughts on Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz in the boxing ring, one of the biggest fights of the summer. Um, how do you see that fight playing out? And do you, do you give Nate a chance against Jake? So Jake and I actually spoke about this on his show, his podcast, and I didn't really get, I haven't had an opportunity to break down the fight yet stylistically from the last few performances. Obviously, we know Nate's a lot older. He's coming in a lot smaller for the most part he's a smaller guy compared to jake i i saw jake over the weekend he's a big dude man the guy was like six three six four pushing over i would say at least 215 maybe 220 he's a pretty solid dude um nate used to be a 55er came up to welterweight towards the end of his career so when we just look at the little intangible things like that that's like it, it makes it more i don't want to say you could see the edge naturally going towards Jake, even though he might not be as seasoned and as uh, skilled, but size does matter. And on a short version of things, I think the longer the fight goes, I think you're going to start to see Nate come on a little bit more, but Nate's going to have to weather early storm from a younger guy who's going to be trying to stay long, utilize that reach advantage. I I'm pretty sure he has a reach advantage going to this or it's relatively equal. Uh, I think Nate does have some pretty long arms. But again, you're talking about the pop from the punches of Jake versus the volume of Nate. And that could be the difference, you know? So just looking at it like that without going back and reviewing the past few fights, Jake looked okay against Tommy Fury, where Nate's a better boxer by trade based on what we've seen over the years. And again, father time is undefeated. So with just that being said, I think it's kind of hard to count Jake out of this one, but it would be good for the MMA world for Nate to get the dub. Everybody wants to see Nate win. I want to see Nate win. I'm a big represent army fan, Diaz army fan. You know, those guys were pioneers of the sport and uh, Jake knows what he's doing, man. He's picking the right matchups, man. He's trying to get himself these, these right spots and position himself to win for success and catapult his name off of names that are already big, even though he was already a big name himself, but he's doing it the right way strategically. But you know, it'd be cool to see an upset or at least a competitive fight. I just don't want to see Nate get rolled over because of the size. It'd be nice to see Nate come out there and represent and go out there and do his thing and uh, put on a good show. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Share this with your friends. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more amazing content planned. So jump along for the ride.